Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me tipsy type thing. I have a can of cider here um, and I'm going to see Amory tonight. So it is currently half past three and it starts at half six and I think we're leaving at like five half five something like that so i have a little bit of time to get ready i know what i'm doing with my hair um i'll show you guys obviously after but i'm just gonna like plait the front two sections and i might put a little bit of this in i'm not 100 sure i've got my outfit there i'll show you everything once the makeup is done but i thought i would show you guys what i'm doing with my face so if you do like this video don't forget to smash the big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and let's just get on with the video Okay, so I've already primed my face with my Bobbi Brown face base and done my eyebrows with my P. Louise pencil and also popped it on her base. Um, I don't know what's going on with the camera with my hands because they don't look like that in person. So don't worry, I don't have a dodgy tan. I don't know why it looks like that. But I'll just ignore it anyway. So I have a rough idea on what eyeshadow I want to do. I'm going to go away and do one eye so I know what I'm doing um, and I know I like it so I can come back and show you guys the other. But I seen this like on Glam by Flows Live on TikTok the other day and what she's done at like the bottom, I don't know if you can see it, I would quite like to do like at the top. I'll show you guys my t-shirt just now. I'd quite like to create something like that. So I have these two palettes here, Be Perfect dream big and also the carnival palette and um, I have a few more in the drawer so can I see if we can come up with a similar look to that. Well, let me grab my t-shirt to show you. So I initially wanted to get a Anne-Marie um, merch t-shirt but I thought I would go to New Look and get something from her collection to wear and then buy a t-shirt when I'm there so I feel like I bought something. So this is a t-shirt here it's just an oversized tee but I like that it's got like loads of different colours in it, it's quite bright and colourful so I thought that eyeshadow look would look great with it so I'm going to go ahead and do one eye and try and see if I can see what I can come up with and then I'll show you guys the other. Okay I am on to something, I am quite happy with that, Um, yeah I think I'm happy with that so I'm going to do that on the other eye so I'm using my Be Perfect Carnival palette and for the pink, I'm taking a mixture of these two pinks. Um, it's more like a baby pink and a hot pink and mixing them together to kind of create this more pastel pink. So I'm just going to do what I've done on this eye and I'm going to do the top first. I've literally just put my hand in blue eyeshadow, which is not great. So, without getting everything everywhere, I'm going to zoom you guys in. Okay, so I've zoomed you guys in. You are now like balancing on something else. And as I said, I'm just taking a mixture of the two pinks and just keeping it nicely right in tight with the corner. Um, and just patting it on, just like tapping off the excess. We can always build it up. P. Louise has taught me anything, we can always add more but we can't take away or it's harder to take away so just keep back and forwards in and out your um, pan of eyeshadow tapping off excess I had zero fallout from this look um, so this eyeshadow palette is amazing I think it's the first time I've actually used it which is really nice so it's a nice nice surprise so now that I've got my pink I'm going to go on to the blue so I'm using complete different brushes for every single one because I don't want to mix them so taking the blue I'm taking both mint and sky again mixing the two I really like sky just this one here but just to tone it down a bit I'm just adding that other one called mint Um, just the same as the pink tapping in and out of them just to kind of make it a little bit more pastel -y rather than really really vibrant I don't even know if you could hear past that but what I really like what I've created on the other eyes it's almost like it looks like it's gone pink then purple then blue then green then yellow then orange rather than just the pink the blue the orange um, and the yellow so I like the kind of illusion that's been created I am going to see Anne-Marie tonight I've had these tickets booked for 
I think it was since like last summer I want to say and um, when they first went on sale I was like humming and hawing basically and whether I should get them or not and I thought you know what I'll just get them um so it has been in the plans for a good while I'm so excited the last concert I went to I say concert and um, the last thing I went to was I don't know it was a concert and um, I went to Luz Capaldi I don't know if I've done makeup on that I might have um, but I know I definitely done makeup on Kevin Bridges that was one of my first videos I actually think it's probably privated now um, because it's just one of those where you're a bit like oh god that's one of those ones that should be privated now now that I've um, grown a little bit and I've got a little bit more people watching that's one not for everyone to see so going on to the yellow I'm just taking Keen that's this one here and I'm just loading it on the brush so I've heard that yellow eyeshadows are quite difficult for companies to make but I think they've absolutely killed it with this yellow it does take a little bit of building as you would expect just like any other light eyeshadow but not half as much as what you would completely expect basically um, but I'm just taking that one on its own because there is a more mustardy one I kind of just wanted this one so yeah as I was saying I'm going to go and see it at the hydro and um, we are getting a lift through we normally would get the train but I think we're getting the train back so we'll do kind of like what we normally do we normally got the chippy on the way back but I am older now <laughs> I think the last time we done that was probably when I went and seen one Direction. Um, who else have I seen? I've seen One Direction twice. I've seen The Wanted, God Love, God Rest, Tom Soul. Um, probably one of the best concerts I've been to. The boys are amazing and I really wish I got tickets to see them when they were recently in Glasgow. Um, I've seen X Factor Live. I've seen Dance on a Nice Live, I've seen Kevin Bridges, I've seen Luz Capaldi at Summer Sessions last year, two years ago even, three years ago, I can't remember, I think three years ago, um, or two, whatever, I've seen Luz Capaldi anyway, um, I've not seen too many people, like I always think oh, I've seen loads of people, I'm just taking this orange, this is called Lit, just that one there again on its own and then just putting it obviously in the same place as the other eye and blends it into that yellow but yeah I always think I've seen a lot more people than I actually have and it's not until I start ringing them off and I'm like you've really seen no one um I'm going to see Ed Sheeran in the start of next month which will be really really good I'm so excited to go and see him I'm seeing him at Hamden which is really nice I've never been to Hamden before I just know it's Road. Um, and again we're standing so in Anne Marie we're actually standing in front of the stage but we are a good couple of rows back so we don't get that annoying echoey thing which I thought was really good and the tickets weren't too expensive which was really nice because they have put up the prices for obviously everything um, so the ticket prices weren't too bad for Anne Marie so I'm now just going to take my other brushes and I'm just going to start blending in between them applying more kind of building it up each layer up and blending each colour into like themselves so it all just looks like one like my other eye
yeah, I'm happy with that. I will ever so slightly blend it, obviously, once I've popped my foundation. But today I'm going to use Huda Beauty. So I hated this foundation to begin with. And I mean hated it. I can't remember if I've done a video or anything on it. But I hated it. This is their full coverage, I can't remember what foundation, full filter foundation. So this was obviously a foundation that everyone was speaking about and I thought, do you know what, I'm going to try it. So for reference I have Balaclava, so I've zoomed you guys out a bit because I felt like you were like right in my face but yeah I hated this foundation because I was applying far too much and anyone that has this foundation and hates it, if you're applying any more than like two pumps then stop, that's probably why you hate it. So I normally start with like a pump and a half um, or I kind of just put out the two pumps but I'm hit or miss um, sometimes I will use the full two pumps and sometimes I'll only use like one and a half it's so weird I think it depends on like what sponge and stuff I use so I'm going to go and damp my beauty blender I think I'm going to try and use the Coca Cosmetics by Chloe beauty blender because those are honestly the best um, I'm going to go and dampen that and then we are going to chuck this foundation on our face and just see how beautiful it honestly is. Right, that's it dampened. So I've got, I think it's shape one. I'm sure the rounds one is shape two and this is shape one, like with a little slant. Um, I'm going to use this one just because why not? So yeah, it's mine and does need a wash. But does anyone feel like tools work better dirty? Like, I always hate my makeup the first time after I've washed my brushes. Don't know why but I just don't feel like it looks as nice. Um, so what I normally do, as you can see by there, I'll probably need to wipe that. I just pump it onto the lid because I think that's easiest, it's most convenient for me anyway. Um, pump two pumps onto the lid and it doesn't look a lot, but by good golly, it is. Okay, so taking my sponge, I'm just gonna like, what I normally do is just kind of pat it in and like around um, just because I don't want too much on my sponge but I just then chuck it on one side and then head over to the other side. So it is a bit of a change of scenery um, I'll be honest I couldn't be bothered pulling out all my lights and things like that just to fill in my makeup so I thought natural lighting come through I'll sit in front of my window that is not good um, I think I say it every time that you can see it and that is something that's not changed my full time I've been on YouTube that has not changed if you go back to my old videos if they're actually there um, and I've not prioritized them you'll be able to see me sitting and sitting and sitting in every single video and all you can see is all of my jackets and background that is something that won't change where do I want to put them? I don't know. See me, I film a tan video and I film it over in like that area there. I've always got to take down about half of that just so that you can't like see it. Um, and I'm like against a white wall so yeah it's not not the most ideal situation but. So now for concealer I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape <laughs> like I've used this for so long um, and it's still going strong so obviously I just won't be putting it under my eyes which is fine or kind of like pop a little bit there but not really um, for doing anything just for the sake of it. So I've recently kind of like spoke about in a few of my videos giving things away in most of my videos so I got monetized in January it was actually end of January so I wanted to be monetized so I wanted to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year, which I did, and I did on the 31st of December. So I made it a goal to then hit like monetization for the end of January, so I still needed like I think 500 watch hours or something, so it wasn't too crazy, but it was still something. So then I think on something like the 25th or something, I had hit the watch hours and on the 31st of January I was completely enrolled into the monetization. So as a thank you to you guys, I thought in most of my videos, like obviously not all of them because I do forget, um, but in most of my videos give things away for you guys. So all I want you to do is make sure that you are subscribed obviously um, because I only want to give it to people that have helped me and continue to support and help my channel and me grow. 
and also all I'm asking is for you to comment just obviously so I can see your interest. I have a bucket, let me show you, full of stuff, full of makeup, beauty, skincare, hair care. I've got P. Louise eyebrow powder in there. Um, I've got soft eyeshadow, I've got cleanser, I've got like a little MAC eyeshadow. I'm not sure like, I'm not sure if I should do like a week past the video because I know that not everyone sees it and I don't want to do it like all in the same like 24 hours or something and also don't want to do it to my next video because I do like have a job that I work like 40 hours in Um, I have to pre-record a lot of my videos so I'm not sure if I should kind of give you guys a week doing it Um, and kind of see that way but it's all trial and error I have done it in quite a few videos so far not all are up but one or two of them will be. So I'm just kind of sitting under my eyes. It's not really under my eyes though, is it? Um, with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Just in all of the places that are going to crack. So as I said, and you kind of seen, I only set like those areas that are really going to crease because I've seen something new and I've been trying it out and it's just like not set in those areas that you put bronzer and it seems to look a lot better, not as dry, not as cakey, doesn't go really dark or anything, which I've been really enjoying. So still using my Hula bronzer, oh my goodness, I actually can't get away from it. Um, and just very, very, very lightly bronzing up my face. Okay, so this has turned into like a mukbang as well, if you want to call it that. Um, my friend Nisa's here. So, we've got chicken curry with chips, spring rolls, rice and prawn crackers. Um, try not eat it, but I need to eat it so that I go there. Um, sobered up a little. I'm not drunk, I'm probably not even tipsy, but I'm drinking a bottle of wine going through, so I need something to line the stomach. Um, we've done the bronzer, we are now going to go on to blush, so I'm using the NARS Orgasm blush, honestly. If you want to try this blush, just get a smaller one. I've had this for God knows how long and I still have it, it's still going strong, so if you're wanting to get it, get this one. If anyone's new to my channel, then I use mostly Morphe brushes. Some of the brushes, most of the brushes that I've used for my eyes have been also P. Louise, um, but most of them are Morphe, I swear by Morphe. If anyone's looking at getting brushes, like really good valued sets and things like that then have a look on Morphe's website honestly they are amazing. I have both the Jaclyn Hill set plus like the old Jaclyn Hill set I think it's like the Jaclyn Hill favourites or something um, and also the James Charles one but honestly just any set and um, they've got so many amazing sets on there definitely have a little look. Also Beauty Bay is quite good for sets. I've never tried like any Zoeva brushes or anything like that. I knew I wanted to and I was going to get them um, and then I heard someone saying something about Morphe and I was like oh I'll try those because I've heard something about it now. So yeah definitely not look back. Still want to try like Zoeva brushes and things but definitely check out Morphe. I'm just kind of going over with the bronzer brush um, just to make sure the blusher and bronzer is all kind of like together. Um, I really like that blusher because it's got like a shimmer in it. So it looks like I've almost put on a highlighter, um, which I really, really like. And then for highlighter, of course, I'm using the Coco Cosmetics by Chloe in Coffee Truffle. And this bunny I seen on Chloe's um, Instagram stories when it was Easter or just before it was Easter and now she was in Asda because she posted that she was in Asda so what did I do? I went down to Asda and got one so thanks Chloe if you're watching this or if you see this video um, but I'm using Coffee Truffle and I'm just popping it everywhere. My favourite kind of way to apply highlighter than now is just like tapping the brush in like not swiping just tapping it in and then tapping it on the areas I feel like that gives it such like a nice not natural but like a not overpowered not too much like not a stripe because there's nothing worse than like creating a stripe here i say try to blend it but like i just don't like having such a stripe i like more natural so i just like to give it a little tap as much as it's probably not a natural highlighter i like to apply it on in a natural 
way. So I'm now just going to set my face with my MAC Fix Plus. I like to use the coconut one, um, but Fix Plus is honestly the best thing ever. I am running out, so I should probably get another one before I need another one, but I'm going to go ahead and set my face, and then we will go on to lips. Okay, so for lips, I think I'm going to use my Kylie Cosmetics lip kit, um, because I feel like that lasts so long. So I'm using Candy K. And this is obviously a matte, but it's such a stunning colour. So let me go and outline my lips because I can't do it while I'm talking, obviously. <laughs> and then just obviously filling it in with the lipstick. So stunning, so perfect, honestly, I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and put my jewellery on, give my eyelashes a little brush. I'm not sure if I should put any mascara on the bottom. I'm not sure if it'll um, ruin it or not. I'm gonna kind of decide. Put my outfit on and then I'll be back to you guys. Oh, the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished eye makeup and complete look. Um, I'm gonna try and show you in the camera without showing too much because my room is a mess but I'm wearing the Anne Marie um, bomber jacket thing from New Look, the top from New Look, black pre-marked cycling shorts and also heart socks and um, trainers from our New Look collection. I've got eyelash extensions in so that's what eyelashes I'm wearing. Um, this mirror is so streaky. I don't even know why. I'm going to kind of like set you guys up here. I'm going to use the Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla um, Shimmer Body Mask because I really like that it's like shimmery and it'll make me all glittery and stuff. I got my mum to braid my hair because my hands hurt too much if I do it. Um, and I was going to put a little bit of glitter in it but I thought I'll just leave it. So yeah, that is probably the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. If I've got any clips from Amory, I will chuck them in now. Um, but also obviously, keep an eye on my stories. I will try and add a highlight if I add anything to my story um, for you all to see. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to smash the big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!